Those of you who know me know that I'm not always complimentary about the Dyson handheld vacuum cleaners, mainly because they completely mash the figures around to make them look better than they are, because they sell them as a full-size vacuum cleaner replacement, which they never are, and see because of the price, they cost 500 quid the V10, that's just too much. But I might be about to have some cake and eat it because I now own a fairly modern Dyson handheld. I've got a V6. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? I have joined the ranks and got a handheld Dyson. Saw a advert on Facebook actually, the Facebook marketplace, completely by chance. It's the sort of advert that I normally see about five days after it's sold. I saw it ten minutes after it went up. Put a picture up now of the advert. Wouldn't run on high. It ran on low, but not on high. I didn't really think for the price, £30, I thought, well, it's worth that in scrap. So, done, got it. Started to look around for possible causes of what it might be. There's a couple on these, there's the filter, there's the battery, there's the charger, there's a little flap just inside of the bin that can jam and obviously cause it to pulse, thinking it's blocked up. But again, for me 30 quid, I didn't care, so off I trotted and got it after work, and here we are. The problem was, and I've already fixed it, so I can't show you on film, but again, picture one is, well, in fact, that's it, yeah, picture one is of the crap that I pulled out from inside the filter. Picture two is inside of the filter. I wafted the Beko over the top of it, and poof, you can see the bottom of the filter. And it works! Literally! It 100% works! This is a V6, not entirely sure of its actual flavour, it's not an animal, I think it's the basic model. And it's got a few little scuffs and scratches around it. I don't know how long the battery actually lasts, this is a genuine Dyson, I've not tested it. Don't plan to at the minute, I'll be honest. This little flap works. Look, even this little flap opens. Although, I presume it shouldn't spring back. You've got to sort of hover it. That's obviously so when you dock it, it doesn't all fall out. So there's the main machine. We have the floor tool itself, which is fairly filthy, I'll be honest. Billy, Billy bonus is that the brushes aren't worn. Well, they're, they're a little bit worn, but you can see there, they're just starting to thin a little bit. Now, I haven't yet seen if this is under warranty. I might and see if I can blag a new brush roll, because obviously it's doing what... I have my screwdrivers here, just off camera. Let's have this off. I'll show you. All the modern Dyson's suffer from this. The carbon bits, the black carbon, wears down. In fact, this one's quite matted. It feels quite matted and clumped together. The purple ones are fine. That feels quite matted inside. It's actually got a fair bit of clump around the back. You can't quite see it from the camera angle, but it's quite filthy in there. Oh, there's a moving wheel there. But it, it, it works fine. I'll be honest, works very well indeed. So for 30 pounds, I can't really lose. So there's that part, obviously clips onto there and... Does the job. What else have we got? Well, we have the long wand. It says Dyson V6 has been something but that is the sticker. Oh, that's good. All that rubbish is just on top of the sticker. I had, I had half seen that, but not read anything about it. It's not blocked. It's got a hole in it. Have the docking station, which I don't think has been used, apart from to hold the tools. So obviously, you dock the machine, run the cable through wherever it needs to go. I 
bother to be using that. And do that, we have two tools. We have the crevice tool. There's no Dyson logo on it, but I'd, I'd, it probably is genuine, especially since it's got little holes. Have the combination tool, which I'm surprised they were still using these on the V6. I thought these were from the earlier ones, and obviously the DC24. I thought they switched to the crevice tool with the brush on the end of it, but either way, it's been quite heavily used. It's quite filthy. But yeah. And the charger, which works, although it's starting to do that, and I'm, I'm hoping it's just at the right stage that I might be able to sort of just glue it together or just leave it as it is, or buy a new charger. I don't know yet, it does work, so th this has been on charge, so we don't need that or that, or these or these. At all, we can simply put the wand on. Oof, I'll sit up a bit, and off we go. And it does work very, very well. One of my only real criticisms of it is that it's too short for me. To hold it comfortably, you push down on the floor head rather than sort of like that where you might go backwards and forwards. But for me to do that, I'm bending right down. So it's a little bit uncomfortable for long periods of use. But, you know, it's not too bad. I actually quite like it. I'm very impressed with the suction. 350 watts, I mean, I can't be scientific, but... Yeah, that's not horrific. You wish you could turn the max mode off without it having to push it again, or the max mode defaulted to off when you turned it off. But yeah, it's quite good. Let's pick up some dirt, I suppose. See what it's like with that. This is the last of my bag of out of date porridge oats. Let's see, I'll leave it normal. We'll see how well it does. Let me see if I can just zoom you in a little bit. There we go. There's lots of dust in here as well, so this can't be quite a good test. Blimey, no problem at all. That's, that, that's very impressive, although. Right. Oh, you, you can't see that. Hang on. I've just shaken that out of the brush roll. Ooh. Ah, that's got it all up. Yeah. That's very good. Very good indeed. This isn't all dirt from this one. I've my mum used it the other day. I got it a couple of days ago for this. It's been sat here charging. So it's been used as well. In fact, I don't think this crevice tool's ever been used. That's very shiny right down to the end. This has probably seen the most use, like this. as obviously has this part here. And all in all, I'm very, very impressed with it, I'll be honest, especially for £30. If I paid full price for it, I wouldn't be quite so happy. I have broken the filter a little bit, tried to get it off. I have cracked that part there with my eagerness to open it to fix it. So. It, it, it should glue on to be honest obviously she's washed it she's washed it well by running it under the tap and doing that but obviously all the dirt was inside something which i now have learned affects the v6 and the v8 the v10 works differently it clogs up from the outside so you can see it these clog up from the inside so that's nice to see that that has been improved i shall be honest and yeah buzz 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 Quite like it. Don't know what its future holds, to be honest, because it's worth quite a bit still. And I, I know my stepsister's looking for one, so I'm going to take it home, use it for a little while, maybe just to check the battery's okay. I'm not really stress tested it yet. And see what happens, really, because it's not as nice to use as the Beko. And the Beko does seem to groom the carving more, because it's got 
a more fluffier brush roll than this, although obviously this is quite worn. So may not be keeping it too long. It depends. We might keep it. We might decide we like it and keep it. I could not tell you yet. Watch this space. But it'll be refurbished. We'll have it apart. We'll give it a wash. We'll clean it. But probably one of the better things I've spent £30 on in my life, especially you know, in the recent months. Very good indeed. So, this little short videoette of the Dyson V6 base model, I suppose. Tell me in the comments what it actually is, please. Not bad at all. So, just pay to look on Facebook Marketplace as much as you have to sift through so much crap while you're there. That's why I don't really look at it. I just happened upon this. Right place, right time. So, normally I'd have seen it a week after it was sold and cried a little bit. I missed it. But I haven't missed it. I now own a proper handheld Dyson and it is night and day apart from the v, from the DC-16. That's, yeah, fair play to them, they have improved them a lot. So I'm only two years late to the party and here we go. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.